Hey, what's up guys? Will here for GSM Arena. We have here Asus's new compact flagship, the Zenfone 10. So what's new this time around? Let's go over its key features and find out. Asus's Zen phones fill a specific niche. They provide the bells and whistles of a flagship within a compact, pocket-friendly form factor. The previous model, the Zenfone 9, was well received, and Asus is sticking to a similar formula for the Zenfone 10. Both phones bring nearly the same design. There's a soft backing with a rubbery texture that provides plenty of grip. However, even though the designs are so similar, the Zenfone 9's accessories, for the most part, aren't compatible with the new model, so you might have to get a new case if you upgrade. On the front, you'll find something new. The Zenfone 10 has a faster 144Hz refresh rate, compared to 120Hz on the Zenfone 9. However, the 144Hz is only available within games, and you turn it on through the Game Genie overlay. Otherwise, the displays are quite similar. You get a 5.9-inch OLED on either phone, with a 1080p resolution and Victus protection. Another upgrade you'll find is the new chipset. You get the latest Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, on par with what you'll find on other new Android flagships. And on top of the better performance compared to the previous generation, you get support for new memory tech, UFS 4.0 and LPDDR5X RAM. And a new chipset can lead to differences in battery life and camera performance too. Another new development is that on top of the 30 watt wired charging, now there's wireless charging too. Finally, we have the changes in the cameras. You get the same 50 megapixel main cam with an IMX766 sensor, but the 6-axis gimbal stabilization is supposed to be improved this time around. That's paired with a 13 megapixel ultrawide cam. However, unlike last year's ultrawide, this one doesn't have autofocus, so you can't take close-ups with it. It's the same story with the new selfie cam. There's no autofocus now, but at least the resolution has been bumped up to 32 megapixels. And there are other features which are nice, but nothing so different from the previous model. For example, the IP68 ingress protection. You also get a traditional headphone jack, which is rare on a flagship, as well as a pair of Dirac tuned stereo speakers. One neat feature is Smart Key, accessed through the power key slash fingerprint reader. You can map functions to a press, long press, double press, or even a slide. And there's plenty of software support from ASUS as well, two years of OS updates and four years of security patches. The 4300 mAh battery is the same on both models. And like last year, there are plenty of color options to choose from to suit your style. So there you have it guys. So far, the Zenfone 10 looks like a solid compact flagship. Do you think it's worth upgrading to? Let us know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.